Hello and welcome to A Walk in the Dark. This is a game by a Portuguese indie studio named Flying Turtle Software and uh, it is currently in a indie game bundle over at groupies.com. It's called Build a Greenlight Bundle 3 where there's tons of games and they're not on Steam yet but if they do get on Steam and you've bought them then you get a key and so and so and to be honest the games aren't really that great. I just waited until I knew that this game was unlocked as a bonus because this game looks amazing and then I bought the bundle. But you could also buy the game from their website, awalkinthedark.com, with a uh, hyphens between each word. And uh, yeah, it's sort of a uh, platformer as far as I know, uh, kind of reminiscent of Limbo except one major detail you're a cat so yeah that's that's pretty much everything you need to know it has a soundtrack by someone named Cody Cook and I don't know the person I don't know the soundtrack but from what I from what I've heard it's really good so that's gonna be nice uh, I'll put a link in the description to the bundle and I'll also put, uh, for this first episode, and I'll put the link to their website in each uh, episode. So if you want to check it out, then you can. Now, unfortunately, I cannot find the save data for this game. I've checked everywhere on my computer. I've reinstalled the game, nothing. So I can't show you the, like, I can't jump in to just play and show the intro or whatever. But there are movie files, so I'll just splice that in. So we'll select level and go back to level 1. As you can see, there's a hundred levels, which is pretty insane. So hopefully this will last a while, but they might be pretty short, like Super Meat Boy short. So let's just jump in and you'll see the intro. It's very, very beautiful and well made, in my opinion. So, here we are. We're Cat. The... I forgot to show you the uh, options menu. Uh, whatever. It's kind of basic. As you can see, the controls are very, very simple. It's just left, right, jump, crouch. Uh, this was originally V and C, but I find that pretty bizarre. I'd rather just have the arrow keys. So, it's very straightforward. You run, you jump, you slide that's all you can do and you collect these things apparently I think they're like points or something I thought they were checkpoints first but that doesn't seem to be the case can I get that butterfly no it has very smooth controls with a uh, very good like uh, responsiveness oh and you can do all sorts of crazy things like wall jump and stuff like that, like if you jump like this. Oh, not like that. It's really cool. <clears throat> uh, then, also timed, so we could try and do that again, maybe, and see if we can get a good time. Now, I probably won't do that for every level, at least not... Oh, wow. Okay, that was weird. At least not to begin with. I might... If I like the game enough, I might go back and try, like, time trial it. Go! Yeah, there we go. Uh, I probably won't do that for every level. But, still. Level 2. What was that? I have no idea. I only played the first level, so past this point I have no idea what's going on. Ah, oh, come on, missed it by 35, like, hundredth of a second. And now there are saws, okay? It's starting to look more like Meat Boy. Oh, oops. Oh, it's starting to look a lot like Meat Boy. You start over the entire level when you die. 
but I guess the levels are probably pretty short, mostly. Got both that time. So I think the story is like this cat is trying to, oh, is trying to save his owner or something from a dark shadow thing. And uh, I don't know how much, oh, I, I'm i trying to get the thing so I'm not holding jump as far as I need, or as long as I need. There we go. I don't know how much story there's going to be here. I imagine that it's going to be all, like, wordless, just maybe the occasional movie, and I'm not sure if it's going to be, like, in Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet where I have to, like, oh! Hey, guy. Where I have to, uh, like, splice them in manually. Oh, jeez, okay, so you need to bait him out. Uh, the game is not entirely bug-free, <laughs> but that's fine, I guess. <clears throat> uh, oh, oh, jeez, okay, so... Let's try and lure both of them out. Maybe I can... Can I outrun this guy? No. Okay, let's just get them over here. And then... There we go. Oh, story time. What? Wait, what? Was it supposed to just show half of it? I am confused. Oh! Okay. So now we can switch gravity. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh. It's very... It's like... For this character, the controls aren't very precise, because... She... she's kind of floaty, where... She... see? I... I did not even hold right there. I just clicked it and she, like, automatically goes right. That's kind of annoying. So you have to be completely still to be able to go... up. Right. I'm guessing the game is probably gonna alternate between the cat and this chick. Kinda weird to call her a chick, I guess, but whatever. Oh! Oh, that worked. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's... I'm not too fond of the controls of this character. They're a bit too floaty for my liking. What is that? I'm assuming that's gonna hurt me. Oh, that's gonna hurt me. Yeah, okay. Uh, is there anything? No. Oh. Oh, it's really starting to feel a lot like Meat Boy. There we go. Oh, that's odd. Was there a movie that was supposed to play there? Huh. That's pretty weird. I hope I'm not missing any- oh, what am I doing? I hope I'm not missing anything. That was odd. Oh, acceleration.
There we go. Of course, there's bats. Oh. Can I slide under that? Yeah. I really don't know what the, uh... Oh, come on. What the, uh... Dandelion things are? Those are dandelion, right? I don't know. Oh. Okay, that's odd. Oh. Hmm. The control... Hmm. The controls are a bit fiddly at times. But... No. There we go. All right. No. Oh. Yeah, if I if I'm progressing this quickly through hmm, through the entire game, then I don't think it's going to be a very long game. Ah, uh, that's going to be annoying. Yeah, I unfortunately think they need to work a bit on the controls, like... I know they're trying to make the animations look good and have, have it, like, fluid, but responsiveness and, like, accuracy is really the most important part of a platformer, in my opinion. if I run fast enough. No, I have to do a short jump. Not that short. Oh, almost. Oh, too far. There we go. Oops. Oh. That is so Meat Boy. It's like the, the band-aids all over again. But I do enjoy Meat Boy, so... There we go. Ah, oh, so close. No. And... There we go. I'm not even looking at the scores, maybe I should. Oops. Oh. No, damn. Damn it. Oh. It's like something. Mm, sometimes you feel as though even if you let go of the controls, it still keeps going, but then sometimes it's really quick on the response. It's like it has to finish some animation before you can control it. Gah! Again. I guess it's just because they didn't want the. Con wow. That guy was out to get me. I guess they didn't want the controls to, or animations to, like, look jittery or whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, damn it. Oh. Ah. It's weird, the, like... 
it doesn't feel consistent the the amount you have to hold the keys that's the one complaint I have right now but yeah it looks gorgeous and the music is fantastic what did that porcupine just do oh come on it seems kind of random if I get past that or not All right, let's... Oh god, let me pass. There we go. Now I have to not die. All right, phew. Below par. The cave. Oh, here we go. Now it's these types of controls. Okay. Not too far, or too bad, yet. First run. Wait, shiny catcher? Hold on, are there any shinies here? I don't see any sh Oh, there. There we go. Cool. Gotta be on the lookout for those shinies. Oh. It's kind of hard to see the shiny when when it's so everything's shiny. Ah, oh, that that one spike. That spike. Oh. Come on now. Yeah. But it wasn't first run. I wonder... I just want to try that again, because I want to see if first run is first run ever, or if it's just first run, like, without dying. Hmm. That's kind of odd. Maybe you have to go to the map or something and do it again. I'll, I'll see you later. Ah, oh, missed the shiny. Hold on. And what are those? What, what am I catching? I missed the shiny too. I'll get the shiny at least. But yeah, these are weird. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Don't go for the first one. It's a trap. There we go. Oh! Did like twice there. What? Why does it do that? I'm only pressing it once. Oh. Okay, you have to be very quick with your with your presses, I guess, to not have it do it twice. What? I'm not doing that. I really am not doing that. That's odd. That is really odd. What is going on? I honestly have no idea. Oh! Wait. Hold on. Oh. Hold on, I think I get it now. I'm not holding anything. Yeah, okay. Okay, so they're like jump pads. I oh. So when you see those, you actually don't need to press. Like here, you can just let it go. Oh. That explains a lot. Yeah, alright, alright, now I get it. Now it's cool. 
back to platforming. Okay, uh, can you jump that? Yeah, I bet you can. Ah, oh, darn. Wait, is it only... Oh, it's only the ones I touch. Okay, if I just don't run on it, that's fine then. Oh. No! Yeah, I should probably jump back a bit. So I jump... No. So I jump, like, here, and then... There, and jump. And now... Okay. That wasn't too bad. Geek! Good. Wait, is there... Oh, there's a shiny. Okay. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Even got the, the par thing. Wait. Did I restart? I must have restarted. Whoops. Always that one spike. There we go. Oh, damn, that's difficult. I actually thought this would be kind of a casual game, and it's definitely not, and I like that. Uh, I'm unsure of how long I've been recording now, so maybe maybe I should stop after this one. Oh, damn! Just walked right into it. Oh, I'm clever. Oh. Yeah. No. Ah. Oh. That is evil. Oh, I almost didn't duck. Wow, that was so close. Ah. Uh, I'll do one more. Why not? Oh, and bullet bills. That's good. So you can't stop. Oh, you can't stop. That's good. Oh, okay, so you have to pause. And you're slightly faster than the bullets, so you have to be careful of that. Darn it. Did I just die twice? I think I just got killed while I was dead. There we go. Fastest run, too. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Oh, snap. That's a fun one. Oh, darn. A bit too early. I think I might need to pause just a tiny bit there. Yeah, no. Oh, there's spikes there. I didn't even see those. There we go. Strange world. I think I'm gonna leave it off here for the first episode. 
And uh, let's check the map. Wow, I'm already like a fourth through the game. I hope it doesn't. It isn't this quick, because uh, I was hoping this would go on for at least a few more episodes, and not just like four. But uh, and especially with a long intro of this one. But yeah, I I'm enjoying the game so far, and uh, just a tiny complaint about the controls. Otherwise, it's really cool. And uh, the music is just beautiful. I might have to learn this myself. I'll see. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways, anyways, anyways. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.